Good evening and welcome to our live crafting this evening. I hope that you've had a great day today. I've had a busy day. I had two sessions of coffee and card today. One this morning in Brackley and one this afternoon in Toaster. And that was because our usual session at Toaster fell. It falls on a Monday and it was a bit close to the bank holiday and a lot of people couldn't attend so I moved that through till today um, for our afternoon session so I do hope that you are keeping well and that you've had a reasonable day it's a little bit showery here it was a lovely morning and then it went downhill and at the moment it's dry but who knows hi Jeanette thanks for stopping by so we've been using this fun crafting with you stamp set sorry just take it out of the um, the light um, otherwise it shines too much and we've had some great fun with this trying to find my samples um, from this afternoon but I can't just see them to hand but today we're going to be using the sewing machine and this stamp set has a fabulous set of dies that goes with it. Hi Di Diane and Danielle, thanks for joining us this evening. Um, so I thought I would use the sewing machine and I had a change of colour. I've been using too much pink, <laughs> berry burst and bubble bath so today is the turn of the blue greens so these are from our subtles range and this is pool party and lost lagoon hopefully you can see the two of them there and i've got a card in lost lagoon and then i've got a pool party layer which is going to sit on top and my plan is to stamp the sewing machines in the background and then pop a sewing machine here and then maybe a smaller little sentiment here that's my that's my intention um, of course whoever knows whether that will work out so let us get started I don't want to keep you too long um, let's just grab a piece of grid paper that you have underneath. Let's fold this one over so it doesn't take up too much space. So I'm going to be working on this piece and I'm going to do tone on tone stamping. So that means we select the same colour ink pad as the layer of card that we're stamping onto. And this just gives us, all being well, a um, a lighter more subtle background so I'm just going to um, stamp one on the back to see what it looks like I don't know quite why I turned that over so I think it's because I cut it one particular way um, and I also don't know how many I'm going to fit in so let's just see let's have a little practice on the back so I think I'm going to do something like that and then just stamp them along like so that's my plan now because I'm going to get two and a half what I might do is and this is why it's always good to have a little bit of practice if you have the opportunity um, so what I might do is like so so that I've got a little bit more of each rather than just a small amount at the bottom because then when this goes over you'll be able to see the machines better I'm thinking we'll see of course it might not work out like that I could just do one in the middle and work from side to side okay so let's get cracking what did i do half the one on the top it's a sweet little machine isn't it and this also has a die that cuts it out oh bless you catherine 
I don't think I'll, my um, phone is running out slightly, so we'll see. See how long we go. Right, so I'm just going to start this one just off the top. And I'm just going to do this by eye. If you want it to be really accurate, you could of course mask it off or just put a little line by each one. And then I'm going to bring this one in, in between, like so. There we go. That's actually much easier to line up than I thought. But I hadn't better speak too soon, had I? So the stamp set has got sewing, it's got um, crafting, it's got um, knitting. That's what I'm trying to think of the word. And then the dies. Um, also have an embroidery hoop which I'm going to be using tomorrow morning I think and there's scissors and there's a little paper crafting trimmer so there is my background so that is pool party on pool party card And that's going to go on to our Lost Lagoon background. Now I might put a layer of white or a layer of black between the two just to make that stand out. I do, I do quite like the fact that they are very similar colours, but I do maybe want that to stand out a little bit more. Okay, so I've got this one here. And I wasn't sure whether I was going to stamp this in Lost Lagoon. So I've got two pieces. So I'm going to stamp one in Lost Lagoon and one in Pool Party. And the circle is from the Stylish Shapes dies that has got circles, it's got squares, and it has some banners as well. So this is Lost Lagoon, which is quite a bit darker, and it's also a brand new ink pad. So I'm just going to try it out, and then I can choose which one we like the best, or we can choose it between us. Like so. There we go. Probably the darker one I'm thinking because that sort of disappears and then on my small smaller circle I'm going to do you inspire me and this is perfect for somebody who does um, sewing or needlework or knitting you can just change the background accordingly so this block is a little bit big really for what I need but it will do the purpose so you did a great job this morning Dania um, oh, Diane everybody did and this afternoon some really good ideas okay and then on the stamp set there is a little flower but there's also a little heart and I think I'm just going to use that heart in the lighter colour uh, I can just find a smaller block I'm going to do that in the lighter colour, I think. Like 
so. Oh, excellent. Busy girl. Okay, so that's going to form the basis of our card. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm just going to decide probably a white layer just to differentiate between the two. But let's check both. I've moved everything around, so let's see what you think. It's obviously an off cut of black, but there's the black. I'll lift that up, hopefully, you can see that. Let's just try it with a little bit of white. There we go, there's the white. Let me know what you think. My gut feel is the black makes it um, stand out a little bit more. piece of black and here's a piece that I cut when we did the um, <laughs> enjoy my journey which has got the hill cut into it but I think oh Diane says white I think it will it will work Jeanette says black <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the black Sorry, Diane. Okay. Let's just trim that down. I don't often use black, as you know. Very rarely. So, let's just trim this down. So, this will need to be 10 centimetres. by 14.35 there we go so reusing that piece that's going to sit onto there yep that will do nicely so let's layer these up together it's a nice sewing machine isn't it I did have an idea for a, a quilted background so as I've got a spare stamped piece I might try it see what you think I cut some pieces out and then discarded them how long have I been card making um, since to since the year 2000 when my children were very small somebody a good friend who sadly now has passed away bought me a card making class for my birthday and I prior to that I'd been doing um, cross stitch I was a, I did some crochet and I did some knitting and it was a revelation that I could make a card in a couple of hours or less than that whereas even a cross stitch card was a good evening's work and um, and that was it I was hooked <laughs> so it was just a, an afternoon's class it might even have only been two hours actually And that was that. And then I joined stamping up 
in 2010 and one of the well one of the reasons probably one of the main reasons that I joined Stamping Up was because I was making cards to order so people would place their orders for customized cards personalized cards with me and that included some wedding stationery for a very dear friend of mine for her family and I struggled to get things that matched colour wise and I done I had done some stationery, I'd made some stationery for somebody and they wanted some extra ones and it cost me a fortune to try and get everything to match so I had to order I'd ordered obviously on the internet and I'd gone into shops and things like that and I just couldn't get things to match so I spent a lot of money trying to do that and then I came across stamping up um, I went to a class with another good friend of mine Louise introduced me to Michelle last who is actually my team leader and I realized that I could get card ribbon um, papers all to match and sorry I'm looking for some pudding whoops Daisy it's on my toe so what was good was that A I could get it to match but also I could order it in the you know January and I'd still be able to order it again later in the year and get the same things matching. Sorry, my bling's worked its way all the way down to the bottom. So that's um, how I came across and started with stamping up and obviously that's gone from strength to strength. I um, could do with some little black dots if I had any because I think that would bring the black in. Hi cat. Thanks for joining us. I hope you are well. I've got um no those are green. Yes, I've got some black dots. Here we are. So I could use, this is a little bit of the wrong blue, but I think black dots will just bring that all together, bring the outline in. So let's do it. Okay, so where am I going to put them? That's a very good question. One here, one here, and one up here. There we go. So there is my finished card. So I hope that you like that. With the sewing machine stamped as the background. Now I do have cut. some triangles well actually these were squares to start off with and I've cut them in half to make triangles because I had the idea that this would be quite nice to make it look like a stitched um, border and I'm just wondering if I could do something with these or not let's do it this way around maybe only because I've got this other one here so I might as well make use of it let's see or I'm wondering do 
see that. Make a little square card out of it with that in the middle. Yes, that was so. That was the theory. When I cut these up, I thought, oh, I'll do it like a quilted background. And then I decided it just looked a bit too busy. But I think I'm just going to swap this one out because it's got some sort of little mark on it. There we go. So I'm thinking if that will work just making that into a little quilted background card what do we think I've got larger ones so I cut these first so I could also do a larger square hmm. but I haven't got enough so, I like quite like the way that that one's worked. This might be a mistake now, having undone it all. Is that right? No. Like a windmill. Now my um, aunt was an amazing quilter and I still have a quilt on my bed and the quilt that, uh, quilts that she made my children when they were moving out of cots into beds. Yeah that's what I'm going to do with that one. Um, Yes, amazing, amazing quilt. She made one for my 40th birthday. I chose the, the patterns and um, she put it all together. Right, I'm looking for some tape. There we go, this will do. So this is my um, cheats methods. Oh yes, could do some faux stitching. That would also work. And I'll tell you what I'm very excited about that's coming, um, that's in our new catalogue but hasn't arrived yet, is a perforator tool. So you can run lines of perforation and that would be perfect for um, stitching. Um, so what I'm going to do is do this on the back. So do my cheats version which is just sticking these together on the back so it becomes one have I done that right? oh really? that's interesting isn't it? Okay, so it wouldn't matter, it shouldn't matter which way I put these together and then I'll put the four together. Sorry, so you're getting a, a bonus card this evening, only because having cut these pieces I might as well use them up. So what I like to do, rather than try and glue them all down onto one piece, as if, you, if you've watched me or followed me for a little while, is just attach them on the backs then put them together and then attach them onto my card oh that's nice Catherine it's it's very popular in the states isn't it even now well and here of course right now I'm going to work out how I had these working so that's one way I could do it with flat. <laughs> I could do it like that. 
No. There we go. Or I could do the windmill one, which was like... I think I think I like that it's just got a little element of movement about it hasn't it okay I'm going to swap these two over because that one's got some sort of mark on it no <gasps> Let's just measure that and see how big that is. Oh, that's handy. 10 centimetres, that means it'll fit a 10 centimetre square card. Here we go. Just there we go. Okay, so then do the same thing and attach these together with my washi tape bright pretty washi tape <laughs> normally I would just use some cellar tape or something to hand there we go Got a little bit of a gap going on here And that will literally just fit. So I'm adding glue. I'm not putting glue where the panels join in case the glue seeps through. Put on there though. Like so. So. So if you've joined us since the beginning, then thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us for our live this evening. So we've got this here. And then I could put something in each of those little um, quilting sections. Stretch that a little bit. And that one a little bit. There we go, and yes, I definitely want to put something in here. So I've got uh, we've got these little flowers or this little flower here, or the hearts. Okay, and we'll just do the same tone on tone as we had here on this one. Now I know this is going to be covered up. Oh, 
Thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts. And then I'm going to use Lost Lagoon on this one as well. So again, it's tone on tone, but with a darker one. So. And I'm rotating it, so I'm not really worrying about which way it's, which way the flowers are facing. Okay. bashing the camera so I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals just wonder if I've got before I do that small sentiment to put across the bottom here like just um, for you on its own. I've got with love, let's see whether that will work. Hmm. Okay, let me just have a look. Really get well soon, sort of card, is it? This, um, that word love might fit, or the um, narrow happy birthday, or thanks from best family ever. Too much choice now. Looking for the love. There it is. I bet you're all shouting at me. Right, let's see if that will fit on there. Oh, bless you, cat. We're nearly done, I promise, anyway. best wishes <laughs> okay let's try that one there's my little flower That's Lost Lagoon. Just going to try it on the back of here. Make sure it's stamping okay. Yep. There we are. Cute little best wishes. In there and now I feel like because I've done one on each of those I need to do some more <laughs> hmm. which is probably a mistake um, because I should have just put them on either equally all the way around now it feels like 
it's a bit lopsided. I don't think I've helped it, do I? Have I? Right, let's see what that looks like. There we go. It's better. It's a bit less obvious that they weren't in line. Thanks, Jeanette. do the job okay so now I can put dimensionals on that now I've corrected that base and then I'll put on a couple of sequins and we're done so thank you I wasn't planning on doing two cards this evening it's just the way it goes and I've got these turquoisey blue sequins that happen to be just here I know they're not an exact match but they will do There we go. Right, find my glasses so I can see what you can see. There we go. So that one I can stamp the sentiment on the inside. There we go, that's that one there. And then this one here with the sewing machine and the little sewing machines behind. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed our crafting session this evening. That's come out now better than I thought with those um, just odd pieces that I was trying out. I still prefer this one, but I think this one does actually work. Um, and that's on a standard um, 10 centimeter card, so it will go in a standard size um, square envelope, which is about just over four inches. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Do take care. Enjoy your evening. It's bright and dry at the moment. So I'm going to grab the opportunity to get Cassie walked quickly. Um, thank you, Catherine. Glad you like them. And I shall be back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Wednesday for um, another in our selection using crafting with you. And I shall plan to use the dies tomorrow so i hope you're able to join me then <laughs> thank you so much um good night to you so good night diane catherine jeanette carrot um let's see anybody else that might have been here i can't see anybody so if you have commented and i've missed you i apologize um but i hope you have enjoyed the session <laughs> thank you so much everyone take care i look forward to crafting with you soon Bye for now.